Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to more of The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. We gotta go and turn in this uh, quest that we just finished up. Uh, so we need to go and talk to Krach. So he's probably around here somewhere. Probably right here. Master Geralt. A guard spotted you from the tar. They sent me to open the gate. Why was it closed? Is that famous Skellige hospitality? Me. It is tradition. After the feast, the Jarls will choose the king, so the doors must remain closed. Only the sons and daughters of Skellige may stay in the castle. Krach make an exception just for me? All know what you did for Ceres and Yalmar. Today, you're one of us. Yes! Come. Krach awaits. With the in-crowd! How's the mood in there? Calm. Too calm. How's that? We've been at it here at Skellige. At a good feast, meat and blood flow in equal measure. Surely you consider this barbaric on the continent, no? Not sure. Sounds preferable to dull banquets garnished with court intrigue. So glad to be a part of your little club. <laughs> I've as much right to it as you do. And I'd expect you to support me. Not pinch my allies. If an aunt crates to wear the crown, it should be you. Cause you've got fur growing on your chin, that it. Show some of your own, and the Jarls just might listen to you. Don't your mug smacked. Remember, I was left standing last time you crossed fists. <laughs> yeah? So you'll fight the Vilkards with me? Wonder who'll do better? You? Or Yalmar, the giant slayer? Oh, stop your shite boasting! Ceres! Hey! Ah, damn it! Bad way to play it out. Think I don't know that? But you saw her, she's so... so... Quite stubborn, fierce, mule-headed. Refuses to listen to anyone. Exactly! <laughs> <laughs> True, Armbald. Me and Ceres. And they're twins in that regard. Don't see Krak. He talking to the Jarls? No, went to his chambers. To prepare your promised reward, no doubt. If you've a spell, Witcher, perhaps you'd fancy some fisticuffs with the Vilkarls. Loosen up your joints after your journey. Maybe later. All right. Where are you? I just want my reward. You guys have been partying for a really long time. It's not really a problem. You guys are pretty badass. Hello? Greetings, Berna. Feast not to your liking. This is no feast. It's a farmer's market where votes are bought and sold like sheepskins. Svanrig is not going to vie for support. Bran's son will not haggle for a crown that is his by right. Far as I know, crown goes to the claimant who gains the most votes. That is the tradition, but not all traditions are good. The Isle's care should be entrusted to a single family. Take it you have a specific family in mind. Of course. Bran was the best King Skellige seen in centuries. The throne should pass on to Svanriga, his true-born son, and then on to his sons. What's wrong with voting for your king? Take a walk. Listen, and you'll understand. The claimants already hand out land, promise privileges, titles, favorable judgments. They behave like whores lifting their skirts for every passerby. A king, by the grace of votes, is no ruler, but a debtor. This must end. We must start by placing Bran's firstborn son on the throne. I hope the Yards will see the wisdom of it. Leaving Kertrolda? Tomorrow at daybreak. Enjoy yourself. Master Geralt. Let's get to it! May I? You must even. Come! I've been waiting for you. So, feast to your liking. Any better than your continental balls? Definitely more to drink. Ah, there is! Rolled all of it out of my cellars. Double meads, triple. Cintrian plum brandy, Mahakamum spirit that burns the mouth like boiling water. 
clan on Crate knows the meaning of hospitality. Something tells me there's a purpose to your hospitality. Aye, there is. In the Isles, mead and mead stand to gain you as much support as feats accomplished blade in hand. If that's true, you can rest easy about how the vote will turn out. I'll rest easy on the morrow, when the crown rests on one of my children's heads. Feeling torn between Yalmar and Ceres? You mean, do I have a favorite? Nay. They're as different as fire and water. But on crate blood flows in both. Between you and me, Yalmar's not too hot-headed to be king. Depends on the kind of king you have in mind. Want one who'll send emissaries, move figurines about a map, calculate the most profitable option? And yes, he's too hot-headed. But Skelliger wants a different ruler. The kind who'll drown Nilfgaard in blood. Sooner jump into a fire than surrender. And that is Yalma. If you escalate your attacks, you stand to infuriate Amir. Could regret it someday. In Skelliger, we spit on the notion of peace at any cost. Think the Council of Jarls will dare to put a woman on the throne? If you'd asked me some months ago, I'd have laughed in your face. But today I see, and I'm not alone, that Ceres has something as rare on the Isles as a hot summer. Patience. Others act, then think. She's different. She thinks things through, before, the against. But once she takes action, not a force in the world could stop her. <coughs> Promised me a reward for helping your children. And I aim to keep my word. Here. This bauble's been in the family for generations. I give it to you for helping ensure the line endures. My god, I love baubles. Beautiful craftsmanship. Thanks. I'm the one. Hear that? Damn it. I must probably start another row. That's not Yalmar. Let's go. Oh boy. He gave me a sword that's probably not as good as my current sword. What's going on? Oh, shit. Whoa. Well, that's not good. How the fuck did a bear get in here? Oh, two of them. Three of them. Is there like a band, a bear clan I didn't know about? Looks to me like there might be. Chop him up. I gotta piss it off. Come on, take him out. These bears really cleared this place out, didn't they? Come on, get me out of the corner. Got him. That was rough. What the hell happened? Yes? <laughs> yes? What do you think? Some cloth! Gotta stop the bleeding! Quick! Da. Da. Take my <laughs> cloak. Excuse me. Hold on, son. You'll pull through. A shark grabbed my leg once. Albion! He's dead. <laughs> Crack! Where'd those bears come from, huh? Answer! Now! Careful how you speak to my dad. Stow your blade, pup, or Crack will lose a son too. 
You insult me, Lugoth! And now you threaten my son! I will not step for this. Dad, come here! Come on! Put you down like a rabbit dog! Calm down! Calm down! Enough blood's been spilt. Someone brought these beasts here to murder our sons and brothers. We cannot restore their lives. But we can, we must avenge them. This burden falls upon the host and his offspring. Find the guilty on crate. Find and kill them. Else your clan will be cursed for a hundred generations to come. I'll look into it. Hmm. I like this one. Damn it. Things have sure gotten messy. That's putting it mildly. We've clues to examine. Things to consider. We must find out how this came to be. Elsewise, we... We've no time for that. I know where to find the guilty. Wait? Are you mad? You're gonna kill folk before we've learned what happened. Learn all you want. Meantime, I'll go wash the shame off our clan. Hey, the Yarls aren't listening anymore. Stop playing the hero and think for a second. Our honor's at stake, sis. That can't wait. Are you listening to me? Someone let those bears in. We must know who, and the answer lies somewhere in this room. Yeah, I should probably hang around and figure it out. You're right, Ceres. I'll help you. Thanks. Fine. See you when I return with the traitor's heads. I'll stay here. Someone must see to everything. Summon the healer, hand the fallen over to their families. Wolf, I thank you. I'll figure it out. I'm really good at this tracking thing. Ever see anything like that? No, and I hope I never will again. Where'd the bears come from? We were all laughing, eating, drinking. And suddenly, a massacre. Torrents of blood on the walls. What happened before the massacre? Be precise. Y young Lucas bet he could empty a barrel of beer in one go. He climbed on the table, grabbed a pony keg of centrin wheat, and started chugging. His throat bulged like a blowfish. Face went red, but he kept drinking. Folks started banging their tankers on the table, shouted, Lugos, Lugos. Then, from the other side of the room, we heard this roar. We turned in unison as if a coxswain had called. They were there. They were already there. Folks closest to the bears didn't even manage to draw their weapons. They... They were ripped to shreds. We'll avenge them, I promise. Know who died? Drogadar. Drakeborn do, Blue Boy Lugos, Yalborn, Otrig. Take some time, mention them all. But you could name the claimants to the throne who survived in one breath. You, Yalmar, and Svanriga. What are you saying? Nothing, just yet. We've talked enough. Let's look around. Let me know what you find. <clears throat> I'll speak to the others. Maybe someone saw more than I did. We'll have to look into this. <laughs> that was highly unexpected. To walk into a room that was partying, together, and all of a sudden everyone's mutilated by bears. Oh, trick. No. Shit, no more than a kid. We inspect the bear. All right. What do we have here? That's a bear, Bear's Geralt. Head, but the tongue's short, like a human's. Hmm. Mouth smells of honey liqueur. Mead. Something else, something earthy. Bears like honey before it's fermented. Strange. Shapeshifters. Something under the fur. A tattoo. Shape of a bear paw. Old scar. Looks like it was sutured. Half man, half bear. Something half pig? like a lycanthrope. No full moon, so something else caused the transformation. Maybe something he ate, or drank. Mead. Mead with an earthy aroma. Need to check the horns, tankards, and bowls. Let's do that. So it was not man-bear-pig, we've ruled that out. 
but it could be a lycanthrope. So many wounds. No wonder Hjalborn bled to death. Earth he sent from the bear's maw. Something towards mushrooms. Bowling marks. Oops. Claw marks. The sense in the air. Broken bones coming from. Hard to say what exactly killed him. Somewhere else in this room. All the horns are empty. Let's follow the scent. Here. Meat spiked with some kind of mushroom. And human blood. Ceres, come here. A guard saw what happened. Those weren't bears. They were... Men who transform into bears. Uh-huh. Berserkers. Berserkers? The skull's name for warriors who change into animals in the midst of battle. The stuff of fairy tales, legends. But it seems to make sense, right? Mm-hmm. Almost. We were at a feast, not on a battlefield. Think I know what caused them to transform. The mead they drank. Smell this. Mead spiked with blood. And something else. Thinking it could be a mushroom, but I don't recognize the type. Hjort might help us. Few druids know herbs better. Can't hurt to try. Let's take a look! We need to know about these herbs. The weapon needs to be repaired as well. Yep, it's not anywhere near as good as my current sword. Thanks for your special sword that you've handed down through the generations. I'll probably sell it to an innkeeper. Freyr, our mother. May the sea swallow the traitors. Freyr, our lady. Mind if I interrupt? Already have? What is it? Someone spiked one of the mead barrels with blood and something else. An herb or a mushroom. Sarah said, Give me the horn. I know the smell. A mushroom. Mardrom. Mardrom related in any way to berserkers? Aye. But only in the tales told to children as they are put to sleep on cold winter nights. Warriors who ate Mardrom were said to transform into beasts when consumed by battle rage. But as I said, it's only... Only a legend, I know. Still, I find it easier to believe than some story about bears appearing out of nowhere. Ceres wasn't lying. You know your fungi. I do. Especially those which affect the mind, soothe it, summon waking dreams. Odalric suffered for years. I tried to help him in various ways, initially with prayer, then with poppy milk. But he's done with that now, right? It's not that simple. But we'll wean him off it yet. Mardrum. Never heard of it. You have another name for it on the continent. Silas Aib, I believe. All right. Peasants eat it to soothe pain. Erdelric tried it too, but only a few times. In larger doses, the mushroom causes visions, nightmares. Yeah, it does. Yes, the last thing Udelric needed more of. Thanks for your help. Gotta get those psilocybin mushrooms. Blood and marjoram, the taste of human flesh and a substance that triggers visions. That one could have caused the rage, maybe even the transformation. Maybe. Hard to believe someone spiked the mead here in the hall, though, in front of all those witnesses. You're right. I help prepare for the feast. I'd have noticed. It might have happened before they brought the drink upstairs. In the cellars, maybe? Come on, we could find some clues there. Let's go take a look. You must know. And keep in mind, this is just a side quest. I'm pretty sure that this was just a side quest. We must find the traitors quickly. Elsewise, the warriors will take matters into their own hands. Castle's a buzz already. Think they'd attack Croc openly? My father or each other. All in the finest Skellige tradition. Haven't had a good civil war in ages. 